Hello, hello, hello from the most beautiful skyline of New York City behind me. Whoop, and around me. I want to come in and talk to you about something that I think is really important when you start seeing people's followers and letting you understand are they real followers or are they fake followers. We're here today just for a little, you know, location identification. We are in New Jersey today and I'm going to give you, I've got my bag on the floor, I'm going to give this really beautiful view behind me for a minute as we talk. But what I want to come in and say is I know a lot of times when you are you know, on social media, when you are doing um, your Instagram accounts, your Facebook accounts, you see people and you see that they have so many followers, so many followers. Oh, my hair is following me in the other direction. And you're like, oh my God, something they went from zero to like thousands. And you start to believe that they have the social proof of having all these people who really, you know, follow them or in their posse and that they must be really a big deal. But that's not always the case. A lot of people have a lot of fake followers in there. And one of the things I learned, um, sadly, when I was doing some major, a very fine-tuned Facebook ad targeting at one point, that someone who I actually had invested a lot of money in in the past as a trainer and a, a mastermind program, and we start targeting them on social media and realize that we're getting all these horrible people coming. Horrible is a bad word, but people at Walmart, you know, they definitely were not the kind of people who would be investing in someone with like such a big sales marketing strategy, heavy duty aligned background. And there's only one reason for that, and that is they're buying fake followers. And then other times I've seen people who I, who I know and they've gone from like zero to 12,000 overnight. And then you start going down and you start realizing they have a lot of 12 year old girls in different countries where they have a lot of weird guys from different countries on there. So they're not really their targeted audience, but don't get fooled when you see all these numbers out there thinking that you're not doing enough because you are doing enough. And if you are legitimately building your business, that's something to consider that it takes time, it takes consistency, it takes repetition, it takes like being authentic and real. And the next time you see somebody with these really, really souped up followers, take heed that a lot of them might be a lot of garbage. They might all be fake followers and scroll through it. And when you start seeing a lot of weird people who don't look aligned with what that person does and don't look aligned with that brand message that they have or the prices of their programs or what their offerings are, keep in mind that they're probably fake. And one of the best ways for you to attract your audience, for you to build your audience, is to be real and to be authentic. Because like meets like. Like attracts like, like wants to buy from like. When the like that you want to buy from is slightly aspirational, has something to offer, gives you something else that somebody else doesn't have. And the way you do that is being real on social media. It starts with your photo, takes one tenth of one second for someone to decide if they want to listen to you or not. So if you want to start with those photos, and go into your videos, I invite you to go over to AuthenticSuperstore.com, my free five-day challenge that is starting super soon. And you'll get me live on it, five days, a few minutes a day, and you will kickstart your brand, your, your positioning, what you're saying, your authenticity, so that you can be able to scale your audience. And now, I want you to see the view. Oh, before you see the view, if you guys are following me on I'm just going to be really honest here because I'm in honesty, right? He was following me on um, Instagram. It was kind of my forgotten channel for a while. Now I'm on Instagram and it's almost doubled since I started. If you guys are following me on Facebook, I've been there for a while. I've been doing Facebook advertising. There's a higher number of people on there. And if you've been following me on YouTube, that is totally my forgotten channel that I'm kickstarting again. And you'll see what, how, what happens there in, in views. But I could tell you right now that um, I don't have a lot of crap following me. It's real and I'd rather have a slower approach to doing it than um, just getting people up there for the numbers. I mean my Twitter is really big right now but I'm like never on Twitter but that was a that was a very dedicated grow back in the day. So if you're on Instagram or you're on Facebook and you're trying to build your audience, if you really 
consistent on bringing stuff to them and you're being real, you will find your people. A little advertising does help. I'm not going to lie. A little advertising to a super targeted audience will help you grow that much faster. And that's how I found this out. So anyway, hope to see you guys soon in the next one of these little quick videos. Let me know what else you need. AuthenticSuperstar.com is where I want to see you. Bye. Is the Freedom Tower with a helicopter. The Empire State Building. And the dock here in New Jersey. The ultimate and B-roll. <laughs>